Hello everyone, here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can display selected color images in your product page of the Shopify store. So you can see on my screen that how I am switching the swatches and then only selected color images are displaying and others are hided. So how you can do this for your store? Actually, the problem is that in most of the cases, we have a lot of uh, images, so it confused the customers. So it is better to only uh, show all those images which are related to the color which the customer is selecting. And on the basis of swatch, we can define that which colors should display and which color should hide so I am talking about the horizon theme and all those latest themes which Shopify has recently launched so you can apply this method this is really simple method you only need to write three lines of code I will be adding the link below in the description so you just need to copy and paste and that's it so let's follow the video so firstly you should go back to the dashboard of the store and here you can see that I have installed horizon theme so you should click on these three dots and duplicate this theme first once you duplicate it then again you should click on these three dots and click on edit code so here you will be finding some folders and files and I have already given the documentation. So we have the first step which is update all text of images in the gallery for each product. So I will show you what exactly that mean. But before that, let's proceed with the second step. Go to blocks and open underscore product dash media dash gallery dot liquid. So let me copy it and go back here. Let me search that file and under blocks, we have this file which is underscore product dash media dash gallery dot liquid. So in this file, what exactly we are going to do here is we are going to find this class name, which is inside the UL tag. So you should copy this and using control F or maybe command F, you should search it. And here we go. Now you can see that only single class is matching with this. This is actually the UL tag. UL means unordered list. And inside of that UL, we have ally tag, which is inside of this loop. So what we are going to do here is we are going to copy these four lines of code. Let me copy and then go back. And here you should go inside of ally opening tag, press enter key, and you should paste those uh, four lines of code. You can see that we have these four lines of code. You just need to paste these and then click on save. Once you save the changes, then let's see the preview. So first example, I am considering this product and here we go. Now you can see that we have, for example, I have selected this color and if I'm selecting the black color, you only see only black color images are displaying. If I am selecting this uh, other color, only this color images are displaying. Similarly, the first one. So if I am selecting any other image, for say example, this image, this product, and here you can see that we have both these colors displaying. If I'm selecting this uh, color, only these color as well as the other color images are also displaying. So how we can hide that? Actually, the problem is that uh, we have not added the alt text to these images. So let me show you how you can follow this uh, first step, which is related to alt text. So you should go back to the dashboard of the store. And here you can see we have products. You should uh, click on the products and you will be getting all the list of products which we have. So we are talking about this product. Click on this and here you will be seeing that we have four images. So you should click on each image and here we have the option of adding alt text. Since this image uh, color name is black, so I am adding black and then click on save. And using this arrow, you should go to the next image. This is the another color and that color name is this one. So let me paste it, click on save and similarly go to the next image. We have this one, which is black again. Click on save and go to next. And this is the same image color, which was the before click on save. And that's it. We have only these four images. So in all of these images, you have to mention the alt text of the image because on the alt text actually goes from here. For example, color name is black, color name is uh, Rohoburb. I don't know how to pronounce, but you should uh, copy this color from here and then paste it inside of this. And once you are done, then let me refresh this page again. And here we go. Now you can see that the black color image is hided. If I'm selecting black color, then the other color images are hided. 
So that's how you can actually implement this feature into your store. This is quite simple. And if you are having any other, for example, theme, let me show you which theme this method is applicable for. So you should click on visit theme store. And here on this page, you should click on free. And here you can see we have a horizon saver theme. Uh, we have vessel, Italyer, Tinker, Devel, Heritage, Peach, Fabric, Rise, uh, then we have Ritual. Yeah, all these uh, themes it will be applicable for. So you can try this method. If you are facing any issues or something, definitely you can ask me. I will help you out in that. If you have any new store to create or you have any further customization into your store, maybe you have to create any new section or maybe any useful feature you want in your Shopify store, definitely you can ask me. I will create it for you. So I have already given the contact details below in the description. You can directly message me and I will be connecting with you to help you out with that. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Also like this video. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. So thank you once again. See you in the next video.